and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to do something that I've had a number of requests for in the last few weeks and uh, that is how do we download and install an airport? For some it seems a little bit too daunting so I thought I'd make this quick short video and show you how to go about doing it. So if you need a new airport I thought Portland International by Mr. X would be a really great one to uh, have a look at. And this is the default version of the airport that you see here now. And it doesn't look too bad, does it? Runways are good, the water's fine, there's some traffic around. Um, there's quite a bit to be seen there. Go around over the water. Now the main thing is that the airport is what we're um, really interested in, but the whole area does have pretty good um, scenery already. We've got the whole all the town over there. On the other side, and got the hills. So it's it's a really beautiful area. I was just checking it out on a map because I'm not so familiar with the United States that I knew exactly where it was. So, but uh, anything that's produced by Mister X, it's M I S T E R space X, um, is pretty good. And this is Mister X uh, six. This one. Um, I'm not sure what the numbering is. So let's go and have a look on what you need to do to make this airport look amazing. Although it's not too bad. So we need to go to xplane.org and have a bit of a look through here. You do need to log in, which is no big deal. It doesn't cost you any money. Um, there are um, a lot of payware and stuff available here as well, but there's a lot of freeware. So you can have a look around here. You can have a search for the airport you want. This is um, all like the most popular uh, items that are available at a given time on this page. So if you have a look, we've got uh, KPDX Portland International. 1.5 is the latest one. So we're going to grab that. You can see I'm already logged in. And we go down to um, download. So yeah, Mr. X, you can see all the different work that he's done. It's just amazing. And once we get it all installed, I'm sure you're going to be very impressed with what he's done. You can see all the details, the sizes of the um, the files and general information. Uh, down a little bit over here on the left, you can see requirements as well, which I'll pan down to. Now, that's important. You need to have a look. What do you need? You need um, X-Plane 11, obviously, and then you have his, his own uh, objects folder there. Um, you need to download that if you don't already have it. Or you can go to Mr. X library list and get all his libraries. There's a whole lot of stuff that he has. But you don't need anything other than that one single library. And installing the library is exactly the same process as installing the uh, airport itself. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get it all download loaded. And, uh, and then we'll head over and install it. I'll save it down to my desktop and then we just go to the next step. So here we are on the desktop, already got it downloaded. I've got a couple of files uh, sitting here. So I'm just going to use um, uh, ZZip, but you can use any uh, program that will do the unzipping for. WinZip's another one that's popular, uh, but there's a few out there. And we just uncompress them essentially is what we're doing, and they will sit up here on the desktop. Now they don't sit next to the one you've just done, you have to go find them again. The, uh, the, they're both sitting there. So we'll do the library and the airport. Now the library I'm pretty sure I have already, but nothing wrong with updating it and just see if there's anything new. So there we are, we have the two folders that, uh, that I want to update. Now with the uh, scenery library when we do that it may not actually show up because it's already there and this is just going to probably overwrite what's already in place so the next place you need to go is your xplane 11 directory go up to your custom scenery and all you need to do now is to copy and paste both items into that directory and it takes a moment to do that and you can see um, this is because I already have this folder already, the uh, 3D people, I think it is, or something. Um, then it doesn't need to rewrite it, but it does want to check that I want to overwrite the current one. Um, I find that now and again, some of the files do corrupt um, on in some of the different libraries. So anyway, going through, this is just all listed out. You can see my ortho XP, ortho XP files there. You'll note that they're shortcuts. I don't actually save the 
scenery or the ortho scenery on my mains uh, SSD. I save it over on my one gig drive, my hard drive, because it just doesn't take any, doesn't make any difference. And I save a, an enormous amount of space on my SSD. I do have a video on how to do it, but it's essentially if you download it, put it on another drive and just create a shortcut. So here we're going to go. I'm just looking for my um, uh, scenery any file. Um, having a bit of a look, there it is there. And what you do is just double click on it and open it up and you'll be able to um, edit things that you need to do in there. We're going to do that in a minute. But it's important to remember that it's airports on the top, then your libraries and your um, scenery, and then your meshes go down the bottom as that graphic was. If you're not sure, duck back and have a look at that graphic. Um, this is inside my scenery any file, so you can see I've got uh, all these airports at the top. And as we go down, we've got lots more airports. I have got a lot of airports. I've built a lot myself as well, a lot of the Australian ones. Uh, and uh, and then we have all the way down towards the bottom here. So there's all my airports that you can see. I'm just highlighting what's what. It's quite a long file and worth keeping a backup of it as well in case something dumb happens. But uh, it's pretty hard to hurt it, really. I've never had any trouble with it. So we've got uh, airports, then the scenery. There, ortho, I think I've got underneath that, all the ortho files that I've done over a period of time. And uh, below that, you have the meshes. Essentially, meshes are the skin. Sorry, the meshes are the bones that give it its shape, give the scenery its shape. And then above that, you put the skin on top of it. Then on top of that, you can put ortho scenery on top of it. So you just make the skin better quality. And then you put the airports on top of that. And between those two, I should say, you have all your scenery libraries. They need to be below where your airports are. So what we need to do is just initially start X-Plane. What this does is X-Plane goes over there, reads through the custom scenery and the scenery folders, it goes, wow, I've just found some new things. But what it does do is it puts it all right at the very top. And um, that's not necessarily what you want. If it's an airport, it's fine. Um, you will be you'll be fine. You'll be able to just go play it, play and fly. Um, if there's uh, an ortho scenery or something else you've done, you need to go back once it's done this and read it all. Uh, to then copy and paste it and then just move it to the appropriate part inside that any file. So it's a matter of copy and paste. So now we're here, we're at the main menu, just exit out. You don't need it at the moment. If you, again, if you had an airport, you would be able to just go fly. It'd be fine, most likely. But what we'll do is we'll just go back and check the any file. So again, back we go. Uh, back into the C drive, back into X-Plane, back into custom scenery. And then we'll go back down and find the any file again. There's a lot of stuff hiding in here. <laughs> I think I'll fly past it and then have to go back. There's all the ortho stuff. And we'll go back up again and find it all. So there we are. So all the new files at the top, you can see we have some ortho tiles there. They're part of the airport. So let's grab all of those, control X and cut them. Or you can right click and do the same thing. So we have Portland Airport sitting on the top. That's our new airport. But we need to put the ortho stuff down below. So we go down the list. You can see anywhere in the ortho. So you just click next one, hit enter. And then control V to paste it in. And, uh, and we're pretty much done. The reason we can't see our library is the library is already installed and it's just overwritten it, so um, the system doesn't see it as new. But this is what you would do if you had a library that you just installed as well. Save it and, uh, and, and we're done. Now this will open as you can see in Notepad. You don't need to do anything complicated to just to open it. So it is really a pretty simple process, guys. So let's go and have a look. This is Portland default scenery as we saw previously. This is the new one by Mr. X. Isn't that amazing? Now let's have a look side by side. Look at the difference. And this is free scenery, guys. And this is the real airport. This is a photo of it. So that is just awesome, isn't it? It's a great amount of work he's done. 
Um, so if you want a uh, very top quality, uh, mostly freeware airports, chase down Mr. X's uh, software and his files and um, download them. He does have some payware ones as well, um, but this is just amazing. Look at the quality of that. Um, if you were flying in there in your uh, sim plane, I'm sure you could be nothing but impressed by what you see there. So let's just have a look around at the whole file because there's so much work done. The lines have been changed uh, on the runways. The textures on the runway have changed. They've actually been made darker. Then you have the, the main, what we call the pan, if you like, is where the aircraft are all parked, all the cars and the greenery and everything that's gone in there. And then you can look across to the cityscape in the distance. Um, so look it's just beautiful I haven't done a flight here yet though guys so um, I'm sure I'm going to be doing a flight real soon and we'll have a look at it from the air so I hope that was helpful it is a simple process it's not complicated guys a few people seem to think it is but it's not so uh, if you enjoyed the video as always please feel free to subscribe like comment send me messages if you'd like my um, scenery files let me know I'll uh, send you a Dropbox link and I will catch you again soon back here at Let's Fly VFR. See you soon. Bye-bye.